What is up everyone, Mr. Frodo Law here. Welcome to episode 109 of the LCP for 1.1 and it's going to be our 8th um, California Patrol and this patrol where it's unmarked San Diego PD uh, Ford Police Interceptor Sedan also not see a Ford Taurus and uh, yeah, so anyway, so we're going to be at 10-8 and we're going to see what kind of calls or things you guys have sent to and uh, yeah, C324 dispatch. I'm a uh, 1041 10 for some call outs. Um, before we do, um, before we do, get out there, let's go ahead and get my weapons real quick. Be my uh, baton, um, a grenade, a Glock, Beretta, MP5 and 4. Um, these are being sent for like an on the marked officer, like an on the marked um, SWAT officer. Um, we're gonna be. I'm um, just four tourists and uh yeah. And I believe this is my one hundred and ninth episode. I'm not really sure because um I pretty much upload a lot of times. So I never like go back and watch my videos and go and uh, demo check. So yep, it's episode one hundred and nine, so alright. Sometimes you gotta double check. Um see if this is, you know, your right episode that you'd be recording because I believe last night I did episode 108, so today I'll be doing episode 109. And not sure this guy is still this, but it's going to follow this guy up a little bit. Well, it looks like somebody is like part away from the curb, so I'm gonna. Go ahead and make a U-turn and uh, see what the uh, deal is. Perhaps that's I'm busy just for now, this way like, we can just um, see what's up with this uh, legal parked vehicle. C3 24 spots. I'm going to be out on the uh, white faction. Um, possibly um, legal parks on uh, Albany F Middle Park East of Conquin. Um Play is going to be um, WKT3560. I'm going to go, and go ahead and push that away. Um, this way, your traffic can go around and hit it. And of course, I just my own vehicle. Oh, I do. Vehicle is in front of me. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, push the vehicle out of the way. Go ahead and uh, just park over here. Oh, not that too close to the curb. Wanna be like not above the alliance. We wanna be like just about right there. I wanna do it. All right. So since the vehicle is legally parked, I'm gonna go ahead and check the uh, trunk real quick. Um, see nothing in there. But half of the times, if you park like that. I uh, mean, so there's something in there, and they're probably didn't want to know. Alright, so chunk is empty, so I'm um, not sure what the deal is of the vehicle being in the park, so I'm going to go ahead and write a ticket. And I got my ticket thing that's going to work. Come on. Can I run me a ticket or what? Alright. C3, okay, so since I can't write a ticket, I'm gonna go ahead and just get back on duty. C3, 21st patch. I made a call for an attending from that illegal park vehicle from Omni Yaf, Middle Park. Um, so many attending available for some call out, so. I mean, I wish I could write a ticket for that vehicle, but it's for people let me because um, it didn't say the option for me to write a citation, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave it be and just go with a warning, so. Yeah. Oh god, sorry. Alright. 
Lewis, but this guy don't know, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see this guy steal this and this uh, gray emerald. Yeah, it's been a bit reckless, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, try to put him over. Come on, move, 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 move. Sorry, 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 sorry. I have no time to, uh, you know. C3 21st batch. I'm in traffic and I have gray emeralds. It's gonna be occupied times one. Um, just go ahead and, uh, my car real quick because I didn't mean to do that. Alright. I can pi times one. Um price gonna be VPN one seventy five. Um no assistance seen at this time. It's gonna be a union drive east. Um no assistance I mean occupy times two. No assistance at this time. Something for referral notice so and of course I sometimes I do mess up my traffic sauce because I'm just kind of too lazy so like always. Hello gentlemen, I am uh, Officer Mr. Fred Law with the uh, San Diego PD. The reason why I'm putting you guys over is because uh, you guys have been reckless back there, so I'm doing that as a uh, Christmas cast here is arriving. Alright gentlemen, I've got your driver's license, registration, and pushers, please. Um, if you guys you know, see me you know, being a bit reckless, I'm just to catch up to the suspect. Thank I do you. apologize, it's just that sometimes you get these horrible AIs, it's like, you have to go through them without getting the crashes, that kind of stuff. So, I mean, you know, patrolling here in the city can be tough because of the AIs, but you know what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. So, the first one's gonna be Mr. Bright. Let's go ahead and disguise him real quick. Alright, two citations, it was license not three times, not the warrant, so uh, the driver most likely might be going to the driver or might be going to jail for driving with a with a uh, revolt license. Uh, but who knows, we'll see what happens. Um Three citations, I seen violence at four times, not to warrant. So, the driver's been driving with a revolt license, the passenger has a valid license. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do like a little of a uh, flip flop around. So, I'm going to try and make the passenger to become the driver, and the driver to become the passenger. But first, I want to see if they're actually both clean enough before I actually do that. Alright, so I'm going to see you step out of the vehicle. Uh, for me please alright um, just for safety reasons you're gonna be right there and also let me get your buddy out real quick alright so I'm gonna ask you to add a vehicle real quick for me please and let me actually go ahead and uh Move to a safe spot away from the vehicle, just way the vehicle does not disappear while I am going to be uh, checking you and your friend over here. Alright. Do do and let me go ahead and uh. Civilians report criminals disturbing the peace on uh, right. Union Drive. Issue orders. Let's get back in your vehicle. Alright. So, that didn't go up as I wanted to do. I'm trying to make it more realistic, but at the same time, every time you try to make things, you know, look uh, realistic, and sometimes the AI is just making it worse, because um, I was trying, you know, I was, I was trying to uh, frisk both of them, but instead I believe one of them decided to, to kind of run for me, and that's one reason why, like, sometimes, because, like, I mean, it's fun being, you know, I mean, it's fun role-playing, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to be uh, realistic because the AI so yeah 
I'm going to see a four tours um, show. Let me kind of see. Yeah, I'm going to see the four tours show if I can. Yep, it's a uh, four tours uh, show right here. So I'm going to see like the uh, sportish version of the uh, tours. Not really sure, but do like it. I do like it to be quite honest. So um, yeah. So we just run red light. Of course, I'm gonna just run right pedestrian, so. Alright, C3 21st batch. I mean, uh, traffic, uh, looks like a uh, grayish. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, why is people always slamming the brakes for? Like, come on, what's the about doing that? It's gonna push you out of the way real quick. Like I don't get it. It's like every time you, it's like sometimes when you it's like every time you do a traffic stop on a guy who's either you know being reckless or drunk, they always slam on the brakes. But however you do traffic stop on a person who is just you know who's doing okay, they kind of like slow down a little bit. But however, when you probably guys like this one right here who's like either running red light or being reckless or whatever, they always slam the brakes. Like what's it be about about that? Alright, C3 21st pass. I'm in traffic. Looks like a uh, gray Zebra. It's gonna be on uh, Denver F East Harden. It's gonna occupy times two. Play is going to be RVX 174. Um, no assistance needed at this time. Stand my friend for a notice. Let me go ahead and uh, back up real quick. Alright. Let's gonna do this so I can get rid of the uh, plate reader. Uh, yes, I know I'm part close to 500, but it doesn't really matter because uh, 500 is not really used in this game, so that's the reason why. So, I mean, like, what's the point about, you know, parking? I mean, what's the point about having 500 in the game if there's not even fires going on in the game? Why is my name? Alright. Hello, sir. I'm Officer Mr. Fodoro with the uh, San Diego Police Department. <laughs> Reason why, the reason why I am pulling over tonight is because uh, you just ran red light back there, so I did ask us as you was driving. And by the way, sir, just to let you know, uh, when I pull you over, please don't slam on your brakes, because that's when you cause an accident. So, like, we can pull over next time, next, like, next time, like, kind of easy to on your brakes, even though you can pull over, just don't slam your brakes too hard. It's like easy to on your brakes because um, slamming your brakes can cause an accident. Yeah, it's not gonna be a good thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask your license, registration, and proof of insurance, please. And I'm gonna go ahead and write your name, Mr. Andres Lara. It's right here, while I'm your name here on my computer. And, uh, it's gonna do that right now. Andres Lara. These are citations as advanced as your times. This person's wanted, so alright. So he approximately has a warrant for his arrest, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh ask instead of vehicle. Alright, so I'm gonna do that. This is one, this is what I'm talking about. It shouldn't be realistic and you get all these cars being stupid. Like, come on, seriously? I have no time to deal with that shots fire thing is. Who's shooting? Yeah, like I said, I have no time to deal with these uh, kind of things when I'm in a uh, traffic stop, so, yeah. 
But it's a back or reward, alright. No really sir, I'm gonna see you step out of the vehicle uh, for me please. Alright sir, do you have any knives, guns, uh, I messed up. Alright sir, do you have any um, knives, guns, drugs, needles, I mean if you like, um, poke me, stab me, or harm me, or kill me, that sort of way. Let me go ahead and, uh, first you real quick. Alright, so right now, um, we're, so right now, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, first this guy, and we're gonna see, um, if anything on him. Alright, nothing. Alright, sir. Um, you, alright sir, um, when I load, I, or, again, I messed up, again, I messed up, this is like, the second time the road, that I messed up, alright sir, so, when I was, uh, running your license on my computer, um, your license came out valid, and you have no citations, but however, it said that you were wanted, but however, um, there were no active warrant, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually go ahead, and then you go with the warning, so, uh, have a good night, sir. Um, dry safe and uh, take care. You hey, watch where you're going, buddy. Alright, see you 321st batch. I'm me a cool friend 10 8 from that chop stop. I mean, there were some call outs. It's been kind of a mess over here. So let's get pulled over. C three twenty first batch. I mean, a traffic on a um, green and white bus on a Tampa Street Middle Park in Conquin. It's gonna be occupied times one. Um, no, this, this isn't this time, it's time for a notice, so I'm just going ahead and, uh, see this guy's status. And by the way, I do apologize if I mess up on my chop stop or whatever. I do apologize because my playing doesn't even work that well when I'm role playing, so, yeah. C pursue, alright. C3, 24 dispatch. Gonna be pursue of a, uh, but it's not my screen for pursuit. Oh my god. Um the funny thing is if I'm in the chop stop if I'm in the chop stop of a big vehicle, uh, it's kinda hard for me to see where I suspect it sometimes for like the for the vehicle because like how many times you're in a chop stop with a bus, you know it's in a suspect size so free from you. Um it kinda of feels like that. Um I mean I have flex I do have like a really bad eyesight, so not that bad, but, you know, what? it's hard to explain, but, you guys know what I mean. Oh, sorry. Always forget about my, my freaking sirens. Alright. Hands up right now, hands up right now. Hands up right now, hands up right now. Hands up right now. Put your hands up right now. Oh, here you go. C324 shots fire, shots fire. Where is he? Where is he? I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Where is him? It's right there. C324 shots fire. It's big call for. Actually, it won't be call for. Oh my god, where's this guy at? I can't see people because there's freaking cars in my world. I'm just being blind, whatever. Alright, I'm seeing three twenty four. It's about to be a call for an antenna from the person that turned me a shot's fire.
Alright, so... Force Flank Driver. Driving on Frankfort Avenue. C324 Spanish, I'm gonna be responding to a person like driver in North Harden, um, response me a code 1. So, um, like I was saying, um, you know, um, I mean, if I, I mean, if I'm not making any sense or if I'm just messing up on my traffic stops or any of my role playing, I do apologize. Is that sometimes, or some days I do feel like role playing, and some days I don't feel like role playing, so, I mean, certain, I mean, I'm a bit weird sometimes, but, um, however, if I'm making any sense, I'm just, you know, if I'm just, you know, saying things that don't make sense at all, I also do apologize to about that, um, and also if, and also if I act like that, I don't see the suspect or whatever, because usually, um, because usually, you know, the city is packed with cars and, and pedestrians, and sometimes, um, And uh, sometimes, um, I mean, and plus when it's nighttime here in the city, it's kind of hard for me to see where the suspect is. Usually, you think the suspect's in the vehicle, but also you realize that you're going me map, you see that they're uh, fleeing. So that's one thing about it. Go ahead and this real quick. And like I said, uh, we're trying to be a. Uh, also, like I said, um, every time you're trying to role play and be a uh, realistic here with LOC Pier Four. Usually it's kind of tough because you have to deal with AIs like in your way and that kind of stuff. So trying the best I can to be a trying my best I can to be a to be a realistic but at the same time it's kind of it's kind of hard and tough because like I said you got these AIs who don't know how to drive and that kind of stuff. I mean Liberty City is based off of New York and pretty much uh, Liberty City is full of you know people who are being like that kind of stuff. So try my best I can to uh, be a bit more uh, realistic over here. C3 24 spots. I'm in a traffic and I have black uh, runer. Go ahead and put this guy's figure in a way real quick. It's kind of by the intersection, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure he's not going to be by the intersection. Why don't I put him over here a bit more? Let me go spot right. C3 24 spots. I'm in a traffic and I have black uh, runer. It's going to be on the X Kermat times 3 uh, north run Conquin. Um, it's going to be occupied times 1. Just gonna put my view up real quick. Just to make it more realistic. Um, play is gonna be uh, just gonna be a black uh, fulo. Play is gonna be JAB one forty four. Um, no assistance needed at this time. Stand for any further notice. So I do apologize if I kind of messed up right there. Because like I said, there are some days I feel like no role playing. Some days I don't feel like role playing. So yeah. Hello, sir. My name is Officer Mr. Furlong with the San Diego PD. The reason why I, the reason why I am pre over today is because uh, we we had a repulsive view of drunk driving earlier. So I'm doing that as aggressive gestures driving. Alright, sir. I'm for driver's license, registration, and proof insurance, please. And like I said, um, like I said, um, if you're over playing as an as LCP officer or as FDFC firefighter, um, role playing can be tough sometimes because of the AIs and how they act. So I mean, you know, uh, being uh, realistic is fun, but at the same time, it's kind of tough because, like I said, you gotta do the AIs and that kind of stuff. So yeah, all right, let's go ahead and uh, run this guy's uh, name real quick on the uh, computer. Let's go and do that. Andrew Cole. Your citation, license valid. I mean, license inspired. Something like that. And so your time's not the warrant. So, um, all right. And once we're gone, you go ahead and uh, give me a authorized your test. And if that actually will, you know, let me do it. I believe it's shift B, authorized test. 
Alright, so I'm going to give you a breathalyzer test, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ask you to breathe in here real quick into this breathalyzer. Wait, I forgot I uninstalled it. Oh my god, I kind of... I thought I had, um, I thought I had Brave Rose Play Scene but I didn't realize I actually removed it because it was causing some errors with it. But, yeah. Not really, so I'm going to ask you to stop the vehicle real quick. And again, I do apologize if I'm not making sense so long because sometimes I don't feel like talking or not, but I still just force myself to do some countering so you guys can just see what's going on that kind of stuff, so yeah. Alright sir, you look Sasuke for me, so I'm gonna ask you to turn around, put your hands up on the top of your head. I can't first give you being drunk like that, sir. And like I said, um, if I'm not making any sense or mumbling or that kind of stuff, it's because or sometimes I don't feel like you're doing commentary, but at the same time, I had to force myself to do it because uh, it's for you guys to see, understand what's going on, so, yeah. Alright, just go ahead and, uh, be maxing my air cruiser real quick. And by the way, about the Brave Wars on PC script, I, I was saying about, um, I totally realized, I actually kind of forgot that I have, uh, Brave Wars PC script, um, you know, removed from the script file because it was causing some issues for me. But, you know, sometimes I do forget about my thing sometimes, so. Alright, uh, why is this a right dot over here? Is that like. See what that's all about. C324 spots, I mean cold friend 108 from that uh, traffic stop. I'm in transporting like in a pipe. I'm in transporting in like a pipe on like pipe times on subject to my station. Um submit for further notice. My license is good in the intersection. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. She's went through red light. I can deal with him because I have a, a suspect in my vehicle. And yes, again, I do apologize if I'm not making any sense or if I'm still remembering that kind of stuff. Uh, it's because, you know, like I said, um, there's some days I don't feel like doing, there's some days I don't feel like doing, doing countering that kind of stuff, but however, I do kind of push myself to do some countering just so you guys can understand and see what's going on, so, yeah. Alright, C324 spots me on C at the uh, at numerous station on Seattle 1 Road. Um, question the officer and the escort officer. Just going to suspect my vehicle. Alright, so right now we can go ahead and. Uh, Alright, so. Alright, C324 spots me a call for a test them from that. Um, from that. From that chalk stop. Alright. So, anyways, um, that'd be the first episode. Guys, if you enjoyed, please be sure to like comment and subscribe <laughs> and I'll see you author and I'll see you all with another LC PD for and our next patrol we might be using a San Diego PD margin or a Sydney or a San Diego um kind of sheriff unit so yeah anyways that'll be the first episode guys if you enjoyed please be sure to like comment and subscribe and uh and again I do apologize if I didn't make any sense or if I just didn't Feel like talking that kind of stuff is because um, I don't really do I don't really like to do commentary on, on certain on certain time and certain days. Um, but however, I do force myself to do it because it actually helps me to you know to say things and editing because every time I want to do like you know if I want to do like if I want to do like a non commentary um episode that means I'm doing a lot of editing and a lot of text and that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much why I always force myself. 
to do um, commentary videos even though I don't like doing commentary that much so yeah, anyways uh, thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'm hoping that uh, when I do episode 110 um, you guys will understand me a little better because like I said uh, because I'm not really like a morning person so maybe like hopefully around uh, maybe sometime around like 1 p.m. Um, I might sound a, I might sound a bit more better and uh, yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you with episode 110. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.